as we said, our, our staff right now isn't conducive to uh, giving the oversight and tracking of academic performance like we would like um, with our current staff structure, and that's a challenge as we're proceeding forward with student success initiatives. So I've yapped enough. Um, I'm really pleased we have two of our student athletes here today. Um, first, I'm going to introduce Aaron Spivey. You want to come on up, Aaron? He's a men's cross country runner. He is on an athletic scholarship. Um, he's also the Keith Ryan Scholarship honoree. Um, he is an unbelievable runner. He holds records for us in every category that we have. Uh, he's the Skyway Conference champion. He is a Region 4 champion, which qualified him for nationals. He was a runner of the year in the Region and the Conference. And nationals, he was battling a flu bug or something on the travel. And otherwise, he could have been uh, probably a top 10 performer we are expecting. So um, here's Aaron. We'll let him talk about his experience at COC. Hello, I'm Aaron. Um, uh, like you said, I'm a runner. And that's often a sport that I know kind of overlooked to other sports like football and those things. But um, I think uh, athletics has helped me uh, with my own. Yeah. OK, first time using a microphone. Um, so bear with me. Um, I think athletics helps to build. Um, I know Mary said this, so I'm going to kind of steal it. Um, it helps build a sense of community. Uh, gets students engaged in things and um, learning how to cooperate as a team. Um, obviously, uh, I know I met with Coach Blumgren before the season because I was previously at North Central College. Um, unfortunately, due to some extenuating family circumstances, I couldn't continue there, but I do plan on returning. Um, and I, I just think that learning that teamwork uh, gets you through the tough times and you can always rely on your teammates to help you push through things you don't think you could ever achieve and raise yourself and your team to new heights as we did with the cross country season this year finishing 20th at nationals and I don't know if anyone in Texas ever heard of College of Lake County but they better learn the name I guess. <laughs> So just to see how just my participation in it affected everyone else and just to see it grow is something that's just incredible and I know I'm planning on becoming a teacher biology teacher and just to see that happening in the process and looking back and saying how far can this go and that's really the question. Aaron, which high school are you from? Uh, Richmond Bird Community High School. It's in yeah, way out there. Yeah. 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 Excellent. All right, now, Mary, forgive me. Me, Coach Love, and I, I think we say her name different every time. Mary <laughs> Sakatsi. Is that close enough? Okay, come on up. Mary is a women's tennis player. She's also on an athletic scholarship. Um, she was uh, the Region 4 runner-up. She's our number one uh, individual player in our number one, on our number one doubles team. And uh, she's a freshman this year, and we're excited to have her back because this year she was the regional run, runner-up. If she would have won, she would have qualified for nationals, and she was really close, and I know that bugs her. Um, but uh, here's Mary. Uh, CLC Athletics has definitely had a wonderful impact on my college career. Walking into CLC, I was a little bit nervous because all my friends headed off to four-year universities, and I know at four-year universities, you get a bigger sense of community. So I was a little bit nervous about meeting new people and how that, how that would go. But once I stepped on the tennis court, I knew that would all change. I met, I believe, 10 incredible uh, women, and we're all from different places, different backgrounds, different stories and we have all different knowledge, but we all have the same common um, goal. We want to succeed on the court and off the court. So it was definitely incredible being surrounded by uh, motivated individuals because we all fed off of one another's energy and we it was definitely an incredible experience. What high school did you come from? Vernon Hills.
All right, if you have any questions, we'd be happy to entertain them. Otherwise, we'll let you proceed with your meeting. Yeah, I've got a couple questions. Uh, as I was looking at your presentation, I noticed that you Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, first thing, uh, could you email us that presentation? Absolutely. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, when you were talking about the, the scholarships, uh, and I always like to take uh, take advantage of opportunities when they arise, and I know we've got a lot of foundation board members here in the audience, and uh, if uh, you know, we're looking at, at increasing our level of participation with athletic scholarships, maybe there's a way for the uh, for the foundation to, to talk to them and uh, to take a look at uh, some type of support there. Um, the other thing that caught my eye was when you were uh, talking about the uh, academic support staff, that that was one of the challenges. Um, and I don't know how all of this fits in, but I know over the last year or so, so we hired uh, quite a few academic coaches. Uh, I, I'm hoping that, you know, your athletes have access uh, to that as well, uh, and if there's, you know, if there still remains a need out there uh, with the academic coaches, then you know, somebody needs to uh, raise that up to a, to a higher level of priority. Certainly, we have a lot of athletes that are that do receive services from the CAS program, the academic success. We have a great work and a relationship with them. Um, the the challenges that I was referring to most was. Uh, having someone within the athletics department that can uh, keep a closer eye on student athletes in particular. Um, it's very common practice that we're actually the only school in our conference that doesn't have that type of person on their athletic staff. Um, and it's, it's a really positive thing. They can coordinate study sessions with the athletes. They can check in with instructors, make sure that they're, they're attending class. They're really the enforcer of that leverage we're talking about of athletics participation. Trustee Urshlag, we'll be talking a little bit more about this approach. Thanks, Jackson. Thank you. Thank you for all of the work you put in our efforts. Uh, from a business standpoint, what type of connection would the athletic department have with the uh, business community? For example, if I was an entrepreneur, and I am, um, if I had some excess marketing dollars, I what type of opportunities would uh, the business community have if they partnered with uh, CLC? You know, I think that's that's something that we've talked about. Um, we haven't really pers pursued that necessarily and reached out to local businesses and stuff, but um, that's something that we're, I think we're going to be working with the foundation office in, in the future, so we're now stepping on toes and so forth. Something that I have mentioned after we recently. Uh, some institutions do a very good job about creating sponsorship opportunities and things of that nature. I do think that's a longer discussion, one that we would have with the board, obviously, it should be going down that path. Well, it looks like you've accomplished quite a bit in only, what, six months? Yes, ma'am. And that, that's a pretty good presentation up there. And I know that most of the board members here have been involved in athletics in one way, shape, or form, or, or still currently are. And it's invaluable to providing a well-rounded person to have that opportunity and sportsmanship and teammanship and, and uh, all of the other things that go with that sort of, uh, you know, with all of the different athletics. So I know you won't find that the board members are in opposition to you. Great to hear. Um, and thank you to the students for coming because I think your whole entire presentation was fabulous. Every, every bit. To hear the reforms that you get going on, it's so exciting. But to hear it from the students directly, I mean, that is like so exciting for us. So articulate and accomplished, and you know, we're really proud of you. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Can I can I to understand our new colors are blue and black and green? <laughs> <laughs> we just we describe them generically as blue and green. Yes, but they're uh, they're both like campaign signs. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I actually like to address the students, and you were talking in your presentation about some of the uh, improvements that you'd like to see made in the athletics department. I'd love to hear from the students 
what you guys see as stuff that needs to be improved within the athletics department as student athletes yourself? What stands out to you as the biggest obstacle? Um, I guess it's kind of, uh, I know my coach, uh, kind of the whole uh, coaching and uh, having a faculty as a coach, I know uh, neither of my coaches were any part of college, like the college as a faculty, but I know at some other institutions and even in high school, the coaches are, have some part in the faculty, I think that might help. Uh, I know I never had trouble with that, but I know maybe other students would feel more comfortable with that, um, just because they can keep an eye on them and kind of uh, do some of the background work and try and get them, like I saw that statistic with the GPA and everything. And I finished with a 3.667, so yeah, it's a lot of hard work. But I know I, I, uh, I have maybe some resources available to me that may not be afforded to other students and that being maybe a uh, strong uh, family background. I know my family is, a, they're my rock that I can uh, always go to for help and advice um, and I'm lucky to have that but I know not all, even some of my teammates didn't have a a happy home situation. I talk with them, and I think maybe uh, someone they could go to and maybe talk about some things that are happening and try and just help them. Uh, I think that may do wonders. Um, my biggest thing was I'm a full-time student athlete, and I have to I'm working about 25 hours a week, so it became a little bit overwhelming with tennis season and practices and keeping up my grades. So. The student waivers that I received definitely helped me um, lower those hours, and I'd say in a sense, maybe that would be my biggest obstacle because I would like to commit to more practices and things like that, but I still had to stay and um, go to my work obligations. So that was my biggest obstacle. Thank you so much. Both have done very well. This is an area where I think we can shine. I think it's a way where we can differentiate the college of Lake County. Uh, it's a source of pride in the community. Uh, and I couldn't be happier with the work that Nick has done in a short period of time. Uh, so thank you for all your good work. And I know you're here all the time. So thank you. Thank you.